In this example, we're going to be looking at how to calculate average acceleration, uh, the average speed over some time interval, and the total change in distance or displacement during some time interval while an object is accelerating. So the problem reads, a car is driving down the highway at 20 meters per second. The driver, wishing to pass another car, speeds up to 30 meters per second over a time period of 4.0 seconds. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to answer question A, which is what was the average acceleration over the 4.0 seconds? So uh, we start by writing down our givens. In this case, the first thing that we know is the initial velocity is 20.0 meters per second. We know the final velocity at the end of the four seconds is 30.0 meters per second. And we know the time period that this is occurring in is 4.0 seconds. Again, what we're looking for is the average acceleration. We recognize that acceleration is a change in motion. So it's a change in velocity that occurs during some time interval. In this case, a change in velocity is going to be our final velocity minus our initial velocity. And now all we have to do is we just have to plug in our values that we found earlier and solve. So in this case, we plugged in for our final velocity 30 meters per second. We plugged in for our initial velocity 20 meters per second. And this all occurred over a time interval of 4.0 seconds. So what we end up with is a change in velocity of 10 meters per second over 4.0 seconds. That gives us a value of 2.5 meters per second squared. So now what we want to do is we're going to go and we're going to solve for the average speed. I'm going to plug in in my part A over here that we found 2.5 meters per second squared as our average acceleration. So for part B, all of these still hold true. And if I want to find an average velocity, we need to remember that the average velocity is simply the final velocity plus the initial velocity divided by 2. The reason that this is the average velocity is because we are uniformly changing our velocity from 20 meters per second to 30 meters per second over this four second time interval. All right, this is something that we've talked about before. Um, when we have a linear relationship, or if you consider graphing a, a linear relationship, the average of any two points in a linear relationship is simply the very center. And the very center is halfway between those two points. So in this case, if the two points we're talking about are a final and initial velocity, we're just looking for the halfway mark between them and that will give us our average. Again, we're talking about this entire four second interval, so we need our initial and final in that four second interval. So now we just plug in our values 30 meters per second plus 20 meters per second divide by 2 and what we find is the average velocity over this entire four second interval was 25.0 meters per second. What this means is if instead of traveling at 20 meters per second and then accelerating to 30 meters per second, we could have just traveled at 25 meters per second for the entire four seconds and it would have been the same thing. So now we're going to go ahead and solve for the total distance the car traveled in that 4.0 seconds. Um, our average velocity, or our average speed in this case, was 25.0 meters per second. The time interval was 4 seconds, and we're looking for a distance. So we recall that average speed is equal to some distance traveled in some amount of time. We rearrange our equation, 
and we simply plug and chuck. 25.0 meters per second times 4.0 seconds, and we find that during that four second time interval, we traveled a total distance of 100 meters.